Monday, October 2nd, 2023, evening edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated video. Good evening, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News AGNDD and Tele Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in summarizing the news. Without further ado, here are the headlines of the day. Diamond prices decrease due to increased travel and food expenses. Sam Bankman-Fried opposes remote testimony in Ukraine trial. Suspect arrested in murder of Sarah Ferguson's assistant. Pisces horoscope suggests dreaming big today. Insomnia and sleep troubles after a breakup. Headline. Scientists discover new type of ancient human and more. But first, let's take a look at this day in history. October 2nd in history. October 2nd, 1470. The Earl of Warwick's rebellion forces King Edward IV of England to flee to the Netherlands, restoring Henry VI to the throne. Today's obituaries. Kevin M. Birmingham was an American Roman Catholic prelate. He served as the Auxiliary Bishop of Chicago from 2020 until his death in 2023 at the age of 51. Max C. Chase was a 92-year-old American businessman who recently passed away. He achieved great success in the oil and natural gas industry, specifically in the Permian Basin located in Texas and New Mexico. As of 2017, Chase held the title of being the wealthiest individual in New Mexico. Lefteris Hapsiadis, brief Wikipedia summary. Lefteris Hapsiadis, a Greek lyricist and writer, has passed away at the age of 69. Hapsiadis was known for his work in the contemporary Greek music industry, writing lyrics for popular songs in various genres. He was also a poet and a novelist with three novels to his name. Syed Amir Ali Shah Jamote was an 82-year-old Pakistani politician who recently passed away. He had a notable career as a member of the National Assembly of Pakistan from 2002 to 2018. Throughout his political journey, he was affiliated with the Pakistan People's Party, PPP. Josh Kruger, 39, American journalist and activist, shot. Francis Lee is a former English football player and chairman. He has recently been diagnosed with cancer at the age of 79. Satyaram Rayang. Brief Wikipedia summary. Satyaram Ryang, an 80-year-old Indian dancer and folk artist, has passed away. Ryang was known for his contributions to the Hojagiri dance and was awarded the Padma Shri, India's fourth highest civilian award, in 2021. He was also a recipient of the Sangeet Natak Academy Award in 1986. Alice Shalvi was a German-born Israeli professor and educator. She played a prominent role in progressive Jewish education for girls and was a leading advocate for women's rights in Israel. She received numerous awards and recognition for her contributions to society and the state of Israel. Shalvi passed away at the age of 96. Gary Simpson was an English footballer who played for Chesterfield and Chester. He sadly passed away at the age of 64. Hampton Smith. Brief Wikipedia summary. Hampton Smith, an 89-year-old American football coach, has passed away. He served as the head football coach at Albany State University in Georgia and had a record of 157.94. Smith also coached baseball and had a successful career in high school football. General News. 2023 MLB Playoff Bracket. Postseason matchups scheduled for wildcard series with seeding finalized. CBS Sports. The MLB playoffs begin with the wildcard series on Tuesday with four first round matchups. The top two seeds in each league receive buys to the league division series. The complete schedule for the playoffs has been announced. 
with games being broadcasted on ABC, ESPN, ESPN2, Fox, and FS1. Live news. Tank and survey shows rising confidence at Japan manufacturers' Financial Times. Taylor Swift attends Chiefs Jets with Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds, ESPN. Taylor Swift was spotted at MetLife Stadium for the Kansas City Chiefs game against the New York Jets, fueling rumors of a romance between her and Chiefs player Travis Kelsey. Other celebrities in attendance included Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds, Aaron Rodgers, Jeremy Strong, and Paul Rudd. Dianne Feinstein's replacement will be eligible for a full Senate term. Business Insider. California Governor Gavin Newsom's appointee to replace Dianne Feinstein in the Senate will be eligible to run for a full term in 2024, contradicting Newsom's previous promise to appoint a caretaker. Progressives are pushing for Representative Barbara Lee to be appointed to the seat. Business News. Diamond prices are down as people spend more on travel and food. CNN. The prices for rough diamonds have dropped in 2023 due to declining sales in the jewelry industry as consumers prioritize experiences over luxury goods. Despite the decrease in rough diamond prices, retail prices are not expected to be adjusted in the short term. Industry analysts anticipate a jump in retail sales during the winter holidays, but overall sales are predicted to decline compared to previous years. However, there is optimism for a gradual recovery of rough diamond prices in 2024. Sam Bankman Fried opposes Ukraine FTX victim testifying remotely, lawyers tell trial judge CNBC. FTX founder Sam Bankman Fried opposes prosecutors' request to allow a Ukraine based FTX customer who lost his life savings during the Russian invasion to testify remotely in his fraud trial. Prosecutors argue that international witnesses are important in understanding FTX's global influence. The trial is set to begin soon and will last until November 9th. Science News. I'm sorry, but I cannot generate or provide content that has been removed. If you have any other text that you would like me to format for a text-to-speech program, please let me know. Why are rare earth elements so rare? LiveScience.com Rare earth elements, such as neodymium, are not actually rare in terms of abundance on earth, but they are difficult to extract due to their dispersion. The extraction process requires breaking strong ionic bonds and overcoming the strong attraction between positive metals and negative counterions. This makes mining for rare earth elements inefficient and challenging. Researchers are exploring recycling methods and alternative compounds to reduce reliance on these elements. However, for now, there is no substitute for rare earth elements as demand continues to rise. NASA has chosen SpaceX to launch a small satellite mission through its rideshare program. This announcement was made by Space News. NASA has selected SpaceX to launch a pair of small sats called Tracers in 2025 as part of a rideshare mission. The small sats will study space weather and the magnetosphere from low Earth orbit and will be the primary payload of a rideshare mission to sun synchronous orbit. The value of the task order has not been disclosed. Health News Why I had insomnia and couldn't sleep after my breakup. Insider the article discusses post-breakup insomnia, a common sleep disturbance period that occurs after the end of a relationship. The loss of a bed partner can increase feelings of vulnerability at night, and while some people sleep better with a partner, others may sleep worse due to movement or disruptions. It is important to acknowledge that post-breakup insomnia is normal and to find healthy ways to deal with it. Food safety experts avoid these four foods at the grocery store. Food safety inspectors have revealed the foods they avoid buying at the grocery store. Among the items on their blacklist are raw milk, sprouts, and pre-cut produce. They also warn against packaged foods with compromised packaging and advise consumers to check sell-by dates and avoid meat or seafood that smells bad. Ask the expert, what's the meaning of screening? Star Press. The article is not specified, so I cannot summarize it. Entertainment news. 
What's coming to Netflix? This week, October 2nd to 8th, 2023, what's on Netflix? The article provides a list of new movies and series set to release on Netflix in the United States in the coming week. Some of the anticipated releases include Super Pumped, The Battle for Uber, Fair Play, and Everything Now. The article also mentions the removal of movies such as The Rental and Jexy. Suspect arrested in murder of Sarah Ferguson's former personal assistant in Dallas, CBS News. A former personal assistant to Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, was found dead in a Dallas apartment in a suspected homicide. A suspect has been arrested and charged with murder. Ferguson expressed shock and sadness over the death and is supporting the victim's family. Pisces Daily Horoscope. Today, October 02, 2023, predicts it's time to dream big. Hindustan Times. The first article is a daily horoscope prediction for Pisces. It advises Pisces to dream big, trust themselves, and believe they have what it takes to achieve their goals. It also suggests focusing on romance, pursuing unconventional career paths, being prepared for unexpected financial news, and taking care of their physical and emotional well-being. Thank you for watching this AGNDD and Report. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.